Hello everyone. Um, in this screencast, I'd like to talk about the properties of waves. Um, this is important for us to understand because in order to fully grasp Bohr's atomic model, which is the next uh, model that we need to discuss in class, uh, we need to understand the properties of light um, and light is a wave. Um, actually, light is one of many forms of EM radiation or electromagnetic radiation. And so we need to understand some very basic properties of electromagnetic radiation, which includes light. So what I have here is a simulation where um, a wave is being generated. So um, you should know that all EM radiation travels at the same speed, which is to say 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, um, regardless of the type of energy being uh, moving around. Um, so microwaves and gamma rays and X-rays and visible light all travel at that same speed. It's just that they vary in terms of three other properties, um, which is to say the energy of the wave, the frequency of the wave, and the wavelength of the wave. So you do have to understand um, the relationships between these properties for a particular type of EM radiation. Um, eventually, you will also do calculations involving these three properties. So let's take a look at this first property of frequency. So this particular wave is traveling at a frequency of 1.50 hertz. Uh, one hertz has a, a unit of per second. So you often see in problems, uh, frequency is expressed in hertz or in slash seconds. Um, so what this means is um, for this particular wave, um, 1.50 waves passes through one particular point per second or in one second. So let's see what happens when we increase the frequency of the wave. Uh, we can infer from this increase in frequency what this will do to the energy of the wave, which is the second property on our list. So I'm going to increase this frequency from 1.5 all the way up to 3. Uh, and I think you can infer that the energy of this wave has increased. So the relationship between energy and frequency is that if you increase the frequency of a wave, you also increase the energy of the wave. So um, such electromagnetic radiation like X-rays and gamma rays have incredibly high frequencies, which also correlates to incredibly high energies. And I hope that this makes sense to you. Um, for example, sunlight um, contains ultraviolet radiation and other forms of very high frequency radiation. Um, oftentimes they are absorbed by our skin cells and may cause uh, cancer. So um, let's take a look at what happens when we decrease the frequency. Um, we should expect to see that the energy of the wave decreases, and I think you can infer this from um, how less energetic the wave is moving right now. So that is the relationship between energy and frequency. Uh, let me restore this frequency back to about 1.5. There we go. Now that'll work. Um, let's take a look at wavelength and frequency. So the wavelength of a wave is the distance between two crests of a wave, which is to say two tops of a wave, or the distance between two troughs of a wave, which is to say two bottoms of a wave. Um, so I'm going to increase the frequency. So let's take a look at the um, pattern between that and uh, the wavelength. So I'm going to increase the frequency. So if you take a look at the relative distance between two troughs or two crests, you'll see that it appears to have gotten much shorter. So as the frequency of a wave increases, the wavelength of that wave decreases. So that is an indirect relationship. If I decrease the frequency of the wave, I should expect my wavelength to increase. And it looks like it definitely has increased. So again, the relationship between frequency and wavelength is an inverse or an indirect relationship. In contrast, uh, the relationship between frequency and energy is a direct relationship. Uh, when we get to calculations, you'll see that um, these equations that you'll be working with reflect these relationships very closely. Um, so those are the essential rel relationships between energy, frequency, and wavelength. Hope that helps.